Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. So happy to be back yet again. And thank God for you tuning in. Listen, we're going to get pretty deep tonight. From a man's perspective, we want to talk about the importance of taking time off of your busy schedule, your busy life. I got James Hicks, my husband here, and he wants to share just a couple of good pointers that he had on his mind with you guys. And I hope that he uh, can really, really shed some light just on his perspective and his experiences with the importance of taking time off. Babe. Bless the Lord, my brothers and sisters out there and you too. Wanted to share um, a thought tonight. Me and my wife were having a conversation. We've been having this conversation for quite some time now. And the conversation tonight is uh, simply taking a break so that you won't break. And I want to share this from a man's perspective, a married man's perspective, a young man's perspective. And... I say this to say because, you know, oftentimes, you know, we get caught up in our jobs or small business for for those entrepreneurs out there. If you're an entrepreneur, we get so caught up in being on the grind. Oh, I got to grind. I got to pay bills. I got to provide, you know, for the family. I got to make the ends meet, you know, and that's good. But. What are you doing for self? What are you doing for your marriage? If you're married, you know, have you uh, considered that your body can shut down on you if you don't take time out to recharge it with with using some of your vacation time? You know, um, a, a couple of weeks ago, I read a story on CNN. And they mention uh, how a very high majority of employees uh, go the entire year on the job without using their vacation time. And I found that very surprising. I was very surprised by that. And I was surprised by it because, you know, this is that organization, that company that they're working for paying you (laughs) to have some time off to not work. They're actually paying you to not work. That means you can do whatever you please. You can sit home, you know, for five days or 10 days, depending on how many hours of vacation time you get, or you can go on a cruise or go wherever if the finances, you know, are available. And guess what? You get paid for it. That's great. But, you know, they, they said I think it was eight out of 10 people or seven out of eight, 10 people. I can't remember the figures, but it was a very high figure where people just let their time go without using it. And I'm saying to myself, OK, there's got to be a reason why. And, and the, the number one reason why people did that was because they felt like that time wouldn't be um, used for anything worth it. They felt like, okay, well, you know, maybe I um, can't afford to go on a a cruise or go on a nice exotic vacation. And if I just sit home all day for those five days or those several days, that time is not going to count. I want to make the time count. That makes sense. I can see that. And then it was other reasons that that I can't remember but the point I'm trying to make is, is this, brothers and sisters, you know, your body is like a battery. You know, I think about the cell phone. Um, if you go all day talking on your phone, YouTubing on your phone, <laughs> doing whatever on your phone, your, your cell phone battery can go from 100 percent to 1 percent within a matter of hours. So the same is with your marriage. The same is with your body. Your marriage can go from 100 percent where you're fully juiced up, fully charged, full of life down to 1 percent within a matter of time. May not be hours. It it may take months, may take weeks, but you have to take time out to charge your marriage. Some of us got to recharge our marriage. Some of us got to recharge ourselves individually, our minds, our, our physical bodies, our health. 
we got to take a break so we won't we won't break. Me and my wife are planning a getaway this year. It's a new year. We want to do something new. We want to do something that we haven't done last year or the years before that. We want to create memories that are going to last the test of time. And we want to recharge our marriage because it's, it's so important. You know, oftentimes to another excuse that I believe why people don't take breaks is because they feel guilty. They feel like they don't deserve to take a break. They don't deserve to, to get a getaway. They feel like, OK, I got to be there for the children. I got to be there to to uh, tend to the needs of, you know, people on the job. People are going to job are going to be there either, either way. Some of them, somebody, some of them may not be there, but bills are always going to be there. Bills are going to get paid because God should supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Jesus Christ. But don't feel guilty about living your life. Live your life. Make it an effort. Make it a goal this year to live your life. And just take some time out. No excuses. No guilt. Sometimes the, the enemy will put that spirit of guilt on you or fear. You know, some sometime that spirit of fear may come on on some people. OK, some some people might be afraid. You some, know, to, some people may feel I'm too old. I'm single. I don't have anybody to go with the money. All of these things. Right. babe. It's a variable of things. It could be finances. It, it's it, 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 it's all fear. It's all from the enemy. Fear is not from God. Fear comes from the enemy. And the God we serve is a God that responds to faith. The God we serve is a God that wants us to enjoy his beautiful creation. Okay, brothers and sisters, so I wanted to share one more thing, too, because, uh, you know, <laughs> and th th this, is, this is very important, especially for us as believers. When we do get away, whether it be on a cruise, whether it be um, in a different state, in a different country, different part of the, uh, of, of the U.S., we have to, yes, we're going to have fun, but we have to learn how to still be holy also. We have to realize that no matter where we go in this world, in this universe, God's eyes is, is going with us. So that means that we have to control ourselves. That means that just because we're on a cruise or just because we're away in an exotic place like Hawaii or um, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, whatever these exotic, nice, beautiful places that we all want to go. It doesn't mean that we got to partake in what the world is partaking in. It doesn't mean we got to drink. It doesn't mean we got to party and take a blunt and take a snort or, or take a hit. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, babe. My thing is, <laughs> we as believers shouldn't even be nowhere near Vegas. <laughs> but that's what they say. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But guess what? God's eyes is everywhere at all times, no matter where you're at. I, I don't care if you take a trip to the moon. <laughs> God is right there on that moon, beholding everything that you're doing on that moon. So just keep that in mind. Wherever you are, God is there. And he's holding you as a believer accountable for your actions. So live your life. Have a blast. Have an awesome time. But keep it holy. Right, babe? That's the premise of it. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Live your life. Live your life. Live your life. Peace.